Hello and welcome back. Today we are checking out Niji Sanji XLA covering cinema. This was a request from one of you and I'm excited to check it out. I hope you are all as well. Let's just hit play in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay. Okay. Okay, we had a couple of uh, vocal layering switch-offs there. We started with two, added in a third bass vocal, and then switched off with another two voices, I believe. And then back to a solo. Oral support. Okay. I like that. I like the way we support that. There was a... Nice. So we have the main vocal and then we have those accented vocal supports on the treble side of the mix. Ooh, and I missed out the first time. We actually have a choral transition into the next vocal segment. So we have, um, I believe that was Dopio, with the more like a nasal, playful vocal. And then we have this choral transition into the main vocal, where I believe that was Kodaka. Um, and then we have this uh, choral treble-based vocal support, um, which I believe is the same track as that choral sustain from before, uh, coming in on those accented supports for the main vocal. Nice. <laughs> that that bass vocal is I, that's hex I believe right hex. Um, it's it's kind of muffled. Um, I'm not sure. I, I I'm not sure why it's so muffled, but it's it's a very jarring in the mix. It, it needs to be just a little more clear with the enunciation. Nice. Ooh, I like I like that mix of voices and we still uh sustain that treble um vocal coming in with uh I believe the three guys in the mix there. That sounds good. Nice. Nice. That was solid. That was really solid. Um, the way we had the big lift there. Um, and we, I, I like that we're not overly leaning into like any suppression or like severe like pitch correction or anything. I, I really like that we're keeping this acoustic because it, it comes across as a lot more clean and a lot more heartfelt even if you you know you don't have to like go overboard with emotions but it still it comes across as more heartfelt when you have that clean acoustic nature to the vocals um and you know i, I will say um hex's voice uh, i believe that's hex um it's it's very well suited to those group moments because you know it has that bass foundation that kind of lays in um for all the vocals it's very clear right um, but the enunciation itself is a little muffled, and I don't know if that's on his side or something in the mix, or maybe the mic he was using, um, or I don't know, maybe he was sick or something. Like, um, the enunciation is very muffled, and I, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we've heard Hex before in like a cover or at least some sort of group thing, and um, it, it was fine. His enunciation was fine, he sounded good. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if it's like a mix issue or like a mic issue or something, um, but he sounds very muffled there. I really, I really like that ending. I, I believe that is a uh, Vermilion Bear Vermilion, um, who's uh, getting those ending like uh, that those ending spotlights with the vocal flourishes really. Um, and he sounds really good on that spotlight. 
Um, and I, I'm not sure if it's Kodaka or Melico, uh, who are who's doing those like treble supports for um the group melodies and the the group layered vocals. Um, but whoever's on those supports sounds really good, and they've got really good pitch control that adds the sustain and continuity throughout the different vocal segments, which is a very nice attention to the mix though i'm not sure if that's just an original composition thing that carried over um i do believe we have heard cinema before and i but i i don't quite remember how the original composition is um and i'm not even sure if i've heard the original composition or just another person's cover of it so um but nonetheless it's still very well done All right, instrumentation. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they need to boost his volume up a little bit, but I, I, I don't mean, I don't want to just like a nitpick every time Hex <laughs> comes into the mix. But, uh, but he's got a good voice and he's got a, a really nice quality to his voice and he's got an awesome pitch and awesome bass tonality um so it's very sad to see uh the enunciation get lost there especially because when you can get the enunciation across you can really add in um a, essentially a vocal equivalent to like popping on a bass or like a slap bass or something you can essentially recreate that effect with a vocal just through your enunciation and your projection right so having that versatility in your bass vocal is pretty important. Um, so, uh, you know, it's it's okay to have that smooth over and it kind of just treat it as a foundation, right? But I'm not sure if that's intentional. And so I, I'm not sure if Hex's vocal, especially because he has these spotlight moments, right? And I'm not seeing any change in how his voice sounds compared to the group moments uh, or, or comparing the group moments with his spotlight moments. So if it was intentional, then they need to stop mixing him like that for his spotlight moments and let his enunciation through, um, which makes me think that it's not intentional, right? Because you wouldn't just leave it kind of muddled up when you're doing a spotlight. So um, yeah, I think maybe some mic issue or maybe some mix error. I'm not sure. <laughs> but um but ver did kind of match him on that on the um the enunciation there nice good build up Mm, did we lose the sustain there? So are we not having the same? I'm gonna go back a little more. Mm, okay, a little more segmented there. Is that still there? I think that's still there. So we're having it end with there on the spotlight every time. Nice. I like. I actually liked how that was layered there. That sounded really nice. And um, you know, I'm starting to think maybe the reason Hex might sound muddy or like a little like less clear in his enunciation it could be just because um you know maybe he's not you know I, I don't know if he speaks japanese or not so he, he might just be unfamiliar with the lyricism um which is completely fair uh so that could be why but it, he's well enunciated there it, it's a little more clear here so he, he's getting more clear with the enunciation and it definitely helps when you have that high vocal layered on top, um, as well as coming out of the very clear enunciation we got from Ver earlier. 
Nice. <laughs> that sounded nice. Okay, nice. So we, we get more of a clarity um, in comparison to before where we had a lot of nasal tonality in our vocals. Um, which is a nice... I like the lineup of uh, vocal tones we get with this group because we get um, this slight nasal quality from Vare's voice, um, if I'm hearing this correctly. And then Dopio has a pretty strong nasal quality to his voice as well. So when you layer those in, they're pretty distinct. Um, you get those quite clear in the mix. And so when you have Hex thrown in there, he kind of evens that out a bit, but the nasal quality is still, you know, very clear in the mix. So it's fun um, to have that in juxtaposition to um, Melko and Kodoka, who have more clear voices, at least in the way that they're singing this. Um, they're a bit more clear and open. And so having that comparison is very nice. It's a very fun way to separate your vocal tracks in the mix to create these little mini dynamics between segments. Nice. Is that Topio? Nice. Nice. <laughs> That dope? That's dope, yo. He sounds great there. He sounded like a little uneasy. I wasn't quite sure in his intro, right? Because in his intro, um, he sounded a little bit like the pitch control was there, but it was just a little bit strained, right? You know, but he sounds awesome here. He sounds really solid here. Um, and, you know, it obviously helps coming out of those group dynamics when you have a lot of guidance, right? And you're, you've got a large amount of vocal tracks in support. Um, but even for those solo moments, he sounds great there. Nice. <laughs> those high vocals are wild. Nice. Those high vocals are rough, um, like uh, in terms of the pit, like the pitch notes they have to hit are rough, but they're d pulling it off awesome. Like they're doing an awesome job with those high notes. All right, that was Cinema from XLA. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, you know, I I, I think I, I kind of nitpicked <laughs> Hex's uh, vocal tracks in the mix a bit. Um, uh, but he still sounded great. You know, I, I'm just saying that uh, it, it it was a bit odd to me how distinct his track was from the others. And I don't mean that just in his voice, because his voice is very deep. You know, it's, it's a very noticeable voice. Um, but because it's so deep and makes it more noticeable when he's mixed differently and when he just sounds different from the other uh, tracks, not necessarily in pitch, but in terms of just like um, the quality of the vocal track, like the recording itself. Um, well, perhaps not the recording, but just the mixed track in the mix. Um, it, it sounds a little different. Um, but towards the end, he sounded pretty good uh, in, in the mix. So I'm not sure if it was just a mixing issue or maybe I just got used to it. Um, but it, it was a bit odd at first. Um, but it definitely blended together really nicely for that second half of the song. I really enjoyed that. Um, and they sound really good together. They have a good lineup because. Um, Ver, and, and you know, I mentioned this before, Ver and Adopio, they have that more nasal quality, and then Melico and uh, Kodaka are more open, and they can also hit those crazy high notes. Um, so having them like constantly uh, sustaining those high treble uh, qualities leave more room for um, the guys to kind of sit in that mid to bass range and just carry those like a main central catchy elements. And then we have that accents, um, those accents from 
the higher pitches from Kotaka and Melko coming in. And then we lead into the group where the higher pitches really take on that melody, right? They really take on the quality that kind of pops through the mix. And then the guys kind of fa uh, function as this collective foundation for those higher pitches. Um, ultimately, it came together really, really well. Really enjoyed that. And uh, yeah. Um, do let me. I I'm curious uh, if uh, it Hex like had a different mic or if because he sounds like I've we've definitely heard Hex before. I'm sure we've heard Hex before on this channel. I think we heard like a cover from him or a, at least a group cover or a group song. Um, and he sounded great. He sound I remember him sounding quite good. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how experienced he was with singing, but I, I remember he had clarity. He could enunciate really well. So I, I'm curious if maybe this is just like, um, you know, maybe it's just Japanese. You're not familiar with the lyrics as well. And you're just trying to like, you know, go along with it. Um, because towards the second half, he sounded great. Um, so it's also possible that I just got used to it. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious about that. Um, but aside from that, you know, it was a really good group cover. I really enjoyed that. It was really fun. Um, it, it's a very distinct set of voices, uh, which makes it quite enjoyable to see how they fit together. So yeah, thank you very much for recommending that I check this out. Thank you very much for watching. As always, feel free to recommend more things for me to check out in the comments below. Aside from that, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.